What's up guys, John Kai, the Hawaii guy, bringing to you uh, some educational material today. Uh, specifically, I wanna answer a question that I get asked a lot. And that question is, are Airbnbs and other short-term rentals legal in Las Vegas? Well, the answer is not so simple. Yes and no. So short-term rentals remain illegal in Las Vegas and around the valley, yet Airbnb states that in and around Las Vegas, the stays have increased by 19% in 2019. So according to their figures, there was a little over 880,000 guest arrivals in Clark County with more than $138 million collected by Airbnb hosts. As we stand in 2020, short-term rentals in Las Vegas are somewhat illegal. The only way that you can operate a short-term rental in the city of Las Vegas and Clark County is you have to have an owner-occupied residence. So you can't just have your name on the property, you actually have to be living in the property as well. So you're renting out a room or a suite. Uh, if you have a casita, you could rent that out. Uh, so there are some restrictions for short-term rentals here in Las Vegas. So that's the yes part of the answer. Um, you still have to apply. Uh, you have to make sure that your property is at least 660 feet away from the next short-term rental and you also have to make sure that it's legal within your homeowners association or your community so there are some restrictions uh, you have to have fire extinguishers you carry extra insurance liability insurance so you have to really consider whether or not this makes sense for you um, but the long and short of it is yes you can but with severe and heavy restrictions now, on the other hand, in Henderson, an incorporated city of, of Las Vegas, you can do short-term rentals in residential areas. Uh, it does not need to be owner-occupied, but you do also have to apply for a license, which uh, will cost you $820 a year. And you also have to attend a class, carry extra liability insurance, and make sure that the homeowners association that your property is located in allows for these type of rental um, activity. Many homeowners associations do not want this type of rental activity in their community. So there are some severe restrictions. You could get uh, fined not only by your homeowners association, but also by the city of Henderson, which would result and could result in a lien on your property, not to mention the dollars uh, adding up for fines that you'll be uh, assessed. So you need to really make sure that you're aware of all the rules that surround Airbnb uh, properties here in Las Vegas and in Henderson. The key restriction for homes uh, operating as Airbnbs in Las Vegas, Clark County area outside of Henderson is it has to be owner occupied. So the, um, it does put a little bit of restriction on you. You actually have to be living on the property. You can't own it just in title only and rent it out. You actually have to be living on the property. There will be inspections. And if you're in violation of any of these rules and regulations, you're gonna be hit with a fine, a significant fine on a daily basis. And you could also see um, a lien put on your property, resulting in you potentially losing that property. So be very careful if you're coming into Las Vegas, thinking that you're gonna make an investment in a property, turn it into an Airbnb and make bank. It's not quite that simple, but you need to follow the rules and the restrictions um, and the regulations and make sure you're properly licensed. Now in the show notes, I'll have links to the various uh, departments within Clark County that, uh, and City and Council of Las Vegas, the planning department, that you can go to to get more information and actually apply uh, for a license to operate a short-term rental here in Las Vegas. Now, um, there are some prohibited areas where it's not allowed at all. Basically, most of Summerlin, because Summerlin is a master plan community and they have restrictions on what goes on within that community. They have said, no, nope, no short-term rentals here in Summerlin. Also, North Las Vegas, which is an incorporated city of Clark County, has also denied any short-term rentals to be operating in their area. And then there's a, a portion in the northwest section of Las Vegas uh, that is prohibited as well. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's probably a master plan community as well with uh, restrictions in terms of wanting to make sure they, they maintain the integrity of their community. Um, these rules, I'm sure, are gonna always be evolving and changing, so you need to stay on top of it because your investment could be at risk if you're thinking that, bam, I bought a property in Las Vegas, I'm gonna make bank, and where can I spend my money? All right, so that's the question. 
are Airbnbs and short-term rentals legal in Las Vegas? The answer is yes and no. Talk to you later, guys. Hope this was helpful. Aloha. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, okay, in ninth, uh, okay, in uh, short-term, well, as we, as we,